Hello guys, today we'll talk about vases. So let's go through those vases one by one. First of all, I have all these models made myself. They will be available on my Thingiverse page. And let's go through from boring to more exciting to more exciting and more exciting. First of all, the silver vase which yeah it's really 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 a standard waste printed in prusa silver pla and whoop, it's watertight there's not not much more to tell about this waste i tested out some designs and this one i came up with um, but i think it's boring you can kind of put it aside then I dig a bit deeper into the threaded waves section and I printed out a waves similar to this one. This was my second iteration because the first one was a total failure because I did not see that the slicer or the print had a yeah, I would say it's a bug. You can say it's a feature. It's kind of both. Um, this is why I call this the bugged waves. <laughs> because you can pull the waves apart around here. There are overhangs which usually cannot be printed. Although those overhangs are only about 30 degrees. Uh, but we will see later on uh, when I printed this uh, little ways how the, the part is actually printed. Um, I kind of like this ways also uh, although you cannot use it as a ways itself because it's not waterproof, it's not watertight, you cannot really fill something inside, you can put your pencils maybe inside and that's all. But I love that this PLA, some generic PLA I've got, this isn't translucent, translucent uh, but if you print it with one parameter you can actually kind of see through and you have these features which you can tear apart and I kind of love this bug, this bug ways. I wanted to go even further and put more threads on my design and well this is what I came up with then. Uh, this is about 75% into the print and then I bought it a print because the reason is it kind of collapsed. This close up you can see that it actually printed quite well but then the upper part also started shaking. It was not stable enough to support the upper layers and when I turned my head for, for an hour or so the part actually collapsed because it was not rigid enough. This is the reason why the upper area is not printed properly. You can see it, the actual strings. It even printed out those small strings here but the waist itself uh, kind of failed. So in my second iteration I already was pretty close to the maximum of this failure threading I would call it and I really love it. You can you can squish it and max it kind of makes some noises. I hope you can hear it. Um, but it doesn't break. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I kind of tweaked the temperature here. I went 10 degrees higher than normal. I usually print the PLAs around 215 degrees. Here I went about 225 degrees and increase the extrusion multiplier to 1.05 just so it will print out but it didn't, didn't work on this one. So the bug ways kind of interesting and then I made some yeah some own designs I wanted uh, a nice twisted ways something I could not really find on the first look on Thingiverse or my mini factory and I then came up with this design. This is quite huge. This took about seven and a half hours to print out in 0.2 millimeters.
but I absolutely love the look of this waves and this material especially. This is translucent PLA by Das Filament, a German uh, filament producer. And you can see in the light, it, it looks uh, pretty amazing. It is quite big. I should have made it a little bit smaller in diameter. You can see inside it's quite huge weights. This is actually watertight. Um, printed with one parameter. I, I just love the look of this waves. It's so, so shiny. It's absolutely beautiful. And because this one was so big, I kind of used this design and made a new design out of it. A kind of a twisted container which looks more likely to a waves. And this is printed in Infinity Blue PLA uh, by also Dust Filament. This is the filament which uh, Tom uh, made and which has been shipped out I think it was last week I got those awesome stickers <laughs> to this filament and this filament is is awesome I hope you can see it on camera because in this blue filament there is it looks like aluminium powder or something a metallic finish to it it looks pretty awesome and it's not the the standard one color filament it has a a shiny look I really really love this color and it printed out super easy I used some standard settings uh, like for this filament 215 degrees or this is, it's always the same and here I also went uh, in 0 0.35 uh, 0 uh, 0 millimeters layer height so quite big I have a 0 0.4 millimeter nozzle and you can almost not see the layers. It's, it's beautiful. It took me about three hours to print it. Because of the uh, layer height, this one is not waterproof in the bottom. It has a small leakage. I think you could fix it, um, but it looks absolutely beautiful. If you're interested in one of these models, I will upload them as said to Thingiverse. And I hope you liked this small video about some waves I made, about the bucked waves especially. This was uh, the idea in the first place to make this video, just to share some experience about, about this waves and the waves mode. I have never printed waves before. I have never printed any other model of waves, only my waves. I don't know why. I just was not interested in waves. But now I'm kind of am. I hope you are too. So guys, uh, thank you for watching. As always, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you even liked it more, then give me a subscription and also ring the small bell icon besides the subscri subscription button. So you will not be notified about future videos. Thank you for watching. I wish you a nice day and goodbye.